Commander. Welcome to Mech Shah, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah. I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I oversee Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. My expertise with the galaxy's criminal element led to my taking direct command of this operation. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers, our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. Slavery is disgusting. I'm not interested in supporting it. The slaves support us, dear. That's the whole point. If you want nothing to do with their business, that's your prerogative. We are merely using the Brothers' territory as a headquarters. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details. Wait. There's some... <gasps> what? this was that I have no idea but I appreciate the help anytime it's good to see you again Lord Shah still in one piece oh oh yes the force was strong with him pity he didn't stand a chance for a Sith to defy Emperor Vauron and attack you in the middle of a priority mission you must have done something truly stirring. I don't remember making any Sith angry lately. None that are alive, at least. Perhaps he simply wanted a challenge. Fascinating. Ah, well. You handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Now then, let's review the mission parameters. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. I'm afraid that won't be enough to suit Emperor Varorn. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Precisely. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Heartbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. That sounds complicated and risky. 
How many ships can they realistically send to Corellia if they don't refuel at all? Our intelligence suggests anywhere from five to ten of their strongest cruisers. Too many. The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. As it happens, you have a perfect chance to do just that. Brother? Huffbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Huttbreaker's auction, ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel, and help the Republic slip its head into the noose. And what will the rest of you be doing? Major Anry will be acquiring some special items we'll need later. Meanwhile, I will make a show of myself around the rest of Mekshar. I'll make it seem like I'm preparing to launch a conventional attack, so they won't look for more subtle threats. Don't hesitate to call if you need anything. And what's your back? At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Good luck, darling. We've never been invited to a party at Hutbreakers before. Shikaro has a bit of a crush on her, you know. Just watch. You'll be too nervous to even talk to her. Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. If you already know these people, why don't you handle the negotiations? All of the deals we've cut were small time compared to this. Convincing them to fuel up Republic warships will take some clout. Dealing with someone big and important like you feeds people's egos, makes them easier to win over. You're definitely the one for this job. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shar said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mechshaw. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo. Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like... Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. The mighty Sith Empire. Resting its future on shady deals with shadier people. Wars are never won on the front lines. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, 
We were slaves. Now we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy the speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, meet Tawidir, Jedi Knight. It's so rare that we can step away from the war for a peaceful chat. Just because nobody's shooting at each other yet, doesn't mean the war isn't here. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it. You have nothing to fear from me, Jedi. We'll see. Master Jedi. See you around. Keep on walking, I got nothing to say to imp lovers. Why so hostile? Can't we have a civil conversation? No. I didn't watch my buddies die in the coldest space just to make chit-chat with their killers. Or the killer's friends. Whichever you are. Huh. I need another drink. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Ma chi puna male tutta o nishka? Conchita chichakta. Su kusa mala chikuta, i kosa mose ala tuta. Koba ne puta, tai se jes kusku. So what do you think about those Republic ships out there? Kaso yali koyaran kinka kurum. Klis kataka, yos osko uko pokuta. It'd be better to discuss this in private. I'm sure we can figure something out. Get friendly with someone else. 
I got nothing to say to you. Trust me, you'll want to hear what I have to say. You're wasting your breath. I don't deal with your kind. What do you mean, my kind? You know exactly what I mean, Mando. We're done here. So that went well. You could have warned me. And have you miss out on that fun little chat? <laughs> Kidding! 100% honest. We didn't know he hated Mandalorian so much. Now that I think about it. I bet he's just trying to keep up his ex-Mando tough guy act in front of everyone here. Word is he spends a lot of time brooding in the cantina. If you were to run into him there, he might be a little less surly. Maybe. Worth a shot. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Have you learned everything you need to complete our plan? Yes, I'm done here. Splendid. I hope your time was... illuminating. How'd I do? Too scruffy? Just scruffy enough? That's Nova Blade Gear. What are you planning? Gonna do a hit and run on Jot's turf a bit later. Need to keep the old crank from realizing who's behind it. Just need a few more sets of gear for the rest of my boys and we'll be off. I've rather loudly let the actual Nova Blades, as well as the Exchange, hear that I'm hiring extra muscle. Word should spread quickly. I'm on my way to meet one of the crews. We need to vote for the refueling. Wonderful. I knew you were the one for the job. Well then, we all have our tasks before us. Shall we reconvene in the Brothers' territory later? say a word. When have you ever cared about manners? We worked with Arita Wald once. There were a few issues, but they paid on time. Your help will certainly go a long way. Ni af um pampa, bo shura moki. Poco to pal ku chap ting wampa, la agua kilia je koska. Chonki faguta ji o pora je oto kakise. Who do you support? Nakmanoya, no chahaita. Tuta mishka, no chahaita. Kafstu undile, jigo hola lukuta. What makes you think I want to stop it? Patogawa, ki kuba kili. Koya maya, inacho kasa. Jakusa mala jakuta, ikosa mose ala tuta. Patogawa ki kuba kili. Why me? Can't your own people handle it? Ki kasa da yaka toto. Umpa bitwala bitwala ni bobo. Poya duka jange kapula. Dimuti ki kasa, dubuni lis di woto. Bampaula kava ji oto. Umpa bitwala bitwala ni bobo. Expanding into hut territory? Bold move. Bogs are on the waka. Mibunawa di te utwipi. Kasu yali koyarang kenka kurun. Umpa ta ti tok maki chisa chubala wawuni. I didn't know the exchange was on Meksha. Kuchuso, you mata chiko toya. Mata humpa, muli rafa vaba. Umpa bitwala, bitwala ni bobo. Nokta chulna do beyala. Patoga wa ki kuba kili. I'll bring the envoy back safe and sound. Kuchuso, you mata chiko toya. 
Ja, Alter, je Chopa. Mit one shot, da. Feeling a bit better now?
Kappa Mechispa. You weren't invited to this meeting, Commander. I gather your meeting with Veek is cancelled then. Kava Giota Tako Gauta no Pisto Pampawuta. I must say, I am surprised Veek chose his reputation over saving a potential deal with the Huts. Conta Chota, Casa Yuli Koira Tole Kankitong. Is the exchange helping the Huts take back Meksha? Why else would you let the exchange grow so quickly? In truth, both of our organizations lose millions of credits to Harido Wald every month. It's getting expensive. Once Veek and his ilk are out of the way, we'll divvy up his roots and cruise between ourselves. So, you mata chico toya. Migushu funbo dopa makma. Dead. It was an ambush. She was working with the exchange all along. Bampaula kavaji oto. The huts and the exchange made a deal to kill you and split your resources between themselves. They didn't count on anyone else getting involved. Kasuyali koyarang kinka kurung. Umpa kumbak, niji tonka giliski chanaka. Umpa bitwala, bitwala ni bobo. I don't think you'll ever make that happen. Chonki faguta, ji opora, je oto kakise. Jokusa mala chikuta, ikosa mose ala tuta. Umpa bitwala, bitwala ni bobo. Guidok bamba, unaguta, tankwe kuta. Trust me, you can't afford me. Umpata di tok maki chisa chupala wawuni. Pita perupa, kado wa shini ko higa danaila. Jokuso mala chikuta, ikosa mose ala chuta. Ay, tuta mishka, jio lukuta. It's exactly what I need. Yana kuzo pike, no ye nevuta, nakma. Yes, that should be all. Inigu daiji liska chananga wa! Gigi haku! Commander, am I interrupting anything? I just finished convincing Veek to support our plan. What do you need? Perfect. Remember when I mentioned that hit and run on Jot's territory earlier? Well, I've got my squad ready to move. Last thing we need is you. What do you mean? Jot's crew handles maintenance for everything in the station, including the failsafe system that roasts the fuel. He'll have a schematic for the failsafe on his computers. We need that data so we can modify the system to juice it up like the boss wants. My team hits Jot's place first, so he thinks pirates are trying to run off with some of his repair droids. While he's out chasing us around, you sneak into his HQ and grab the data. Sound good? I'd gladly kill that crusty old man, but then we need another vote. The sacrifices we make for our empire. Before we dive into this op, I have to tell you, I feel like Shah's playing games here. Treating those creep slavers like they actually matter. Hell, playing nice with any of the locals. Boss's eyes are on more than just the mission, I'm sure of it. Members of the Dark Council always look out for themselves, at least as much as they look out for the Empire. Shaw, especially. All right. I've burned enough of your time. I'll move my people into position and we'll be ready to start when you are. Amri out.
Major Anry, I'm downloading the failsafe schematics now. Copy that. Then we finally have the old fool locked down. Go snag some droids and make our getaway before he gets loose again. Anry out. Thanks to your impressive efforts, the vote has gone as we intended. Mekshar will sell fuel to the Republic. Their ships are preparing to dock now. It's clear that they have no idea what we intend. Once their ships are locked into fueling position, we will begin our assault. I've gone over the failsafe schematics with my boys. We'll break into the maintenance shafts and hit the four main emitters all at once. Someone else will have to throw the big switch, though. Can't activate the failsafe from inside. Has to be done from the dock's control center. Leave that to me. We're of the same mind. Excellent. Before you begin, I will load the remainder of our troops into assault shuttles and make a diversionary strike on the docks themselves. That should serve to distract the bulk of their defenders. Still, do be careful as you approach the failsafe controls, darling. Don't worry. You won't need to distract them for long. Splendid. Oh, to see their ships gutted by the very fuel that they were so desperate to acquire. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. I only hope our upcoming victory on Corellia shall be similarly poetic. Our trap is set, and our prey circling within it. Let's show our Republic friends the futility of their best laid plans. Attack! 
squads three and nine reinforce the maintenance entrances. Bastard, come on, get me. Your move, Commander. More enemies at the dark. Squads five and seven, defensive positions. You've got this. been waiting for this Imperial. Your plan ends here. This 
isn't over. I've reached the failsafe controls. We'll clear the four emitters. Guess we're gonna do with this much resistance. Good enough! Activate the failsafe, now! I'm trying. There's something wrong. The console just exploded. The whole system must have failed. No! No! This can't be! Huh? Abort! Abort the mission! Everyone retreat! You made an all-out military assault on my docks! Meksha isn't Imperial territory! You don't get to ignore my rules! Your... concerns... are noted. Meksha's neutrality ends today. You will officially ally yourself with the Sith Empire. We will establish a modest garrison here to ensure the ongoing prosperity and security of our new friends. In exchange, you will provide us with a valuable fueling station for our operations in this sector. Or we will find new management. Lana? I believe we're done here. What? What about Meksha? It's yours. Enjoy. I take it there have been some developments. The Republic fleet escaped. They're on their way to Corellia now. Is that so? And what of Shah? She was determined to take control of Mech Shah, and it cost us the mission. I did what I had to do. As the Emperor decreed, although the loss of his old apprentice will not please him, the combined strength of the Republic's Onderon and Mech Shah fleets will present a significant challenge to our Corellia operation. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. Hey, sounds like I'm headed for Corellia too. How about... What in the... No. You know what? I don't need to know. Wise choice. You're just as sharp as I've heard. Are you one of the ones where I backtalk and get killed? Do you think that's what got her killed? Backtalk? Her? Nah, probably had to kill her just to get a word in at all. Oh, I like this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Henri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. I got tired of sitting around in the shuttle. So am I clear to come in here or what? Oh. One of those missions, huh? Best not to ask, I find. If only he could help himself. Are we good to go or what? This is not the best neighborhood. Lead the way. <laughs> <laughs>